Hi everybody, welcome back to my video series to my channel. Brad again, getting ready for the World Fitness Model titles. And uh, today is the 20th of April 2017. The World Titles is in June 2017 on the 26th. I have my next competition literally in 17 days from right now. And in this video, I want to show you basically a before and after of what I look like now in terms of not my body composition, but what I look like without a tan. Well, that's obvious, no tan. And with some fur on my skin, right? Some, some hair. So what I'm gonna do is you see me now, this is what I look like, and I will throw up some photos of what I look like with a photo shoot. So that's with no hair and, you know, with a full tan and maybe some Photoshopping as well, right? So I'll throw those photos up if you haven't already seen them already. So that's what I look like you know, in that ecosystem. So back to me now, this is what I look like now without a tan and pretty much the same body composition. Those photos were taken about a month ago, right? Those ones you saw before. So what I'll do, I'll take my shirt off in a second and then what I'll do is I'm actually going off to have a spray tan. I'm actually going to have a shower in literally the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna shave all the hair off my arms and my legs and I'll pull the camera down and give you a closer look in a second. And I'm gonna shave everything. And just turn the volume up so I can hear myself. And so I'm gonna shave my arms, shave my legs, shave everything. And then I go into a, to the salon for a spray tan, right? In another couple of hours. And then I'm gonna finish this recording and you'll get to see what I look like now versus what I look like in a couple of hours from now. So the point of this video is to demonstrate that, um, you know, I look completely fucking different without a tan and with without hair and uh, and i wanted to make it very clear that um you know there is photoshop as well but uh, also there's a tan and those elements that make someone look you know look like superstars <laughs> anyway so 17 days out i am a little tired i talked about this morning about having a training session i did a leg session i was tired and um, I feel a bit tired now, even though I record this, but I thought it'd be interesting. I'd do a quick video on the differences before and after with a spray tan and with no hair. So anyway, I'm gonna pull the camera down. I'll show you real quick. Actually, before I do that, I'll just take my earplugs out. So I'm literally doing this live right now. There's a noise coming from outside. I'll take my shirt off. So, this is what I look like without a tan, as you can see, right? So 17 days out, I'm about 8% body fat now, I think, but I'm getting a DEXA scan done. So I'm getting a full body scan in the next couple of weeks and I'll find out exactly what my body fat percentage is. So anyway, no tan, no tan, like this, right? If I pull the camera down, <laughs> this is so weird, you get to see, if you can see that, All right? A little bit of hair. I'll just turn this camera around. Bit of hair. See that? All right? Oh, I was going to show you my armpits. I won't. That's a little going too far. See the leg hair? Look at that. That is crazy, isn't it? Look at that. So that's the leg hair. All right, you got that, you got that. All right, awesome. Okay, great. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. All right, so, oops, just bumped the mic. All right, so you got the before. That's what I look like before getting a shave and having a spray tan. So this will be continued and very shortly, you'll see me in the after very soon. All right, lights, camera, action. Brad is back in the house. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. I should say welcome Brad back to the studio because literally I just walked in the door from the spray tanning salon. And just to backtrack a little bit, when I shut the camera off before, I um, went and had a shower for about 30 minutes <laughs> to shave uh, every piece of hair follicle off my body. I know it's weird, but that's what you got to do, right? That's what you got to do. So that's exactly what I did. I had a, a very long shower and shaved my body. 
And so right now, flash footage up of took a GoPro in the in the in the bathroom with me. So you actually get to see it's not R-rated, so you can go for your life, not have to hide your children if they're there watching. Um, so yeah, clearly there's one leg and you can see how hairy I am, right? One leg versus the other. So I took everything off. It took a long time. It did take a long time. I had to bring a lawnmower in, a hedge trimmer, and uh, I just used a razor, right? So then pretty much straight after that, I went to Brazilian Butterfly. That's the name of this place. I know it's corny. You can hate me all you want, but I know you, I, I'm, I'm, I've heard everything you could possibly hear about going to Brazilian Butterfly as a guy. So I went there and I paid $39 and I had a full body spray tan. And I'm not sure like how much time you need to leave between getting a full, like it wasn't a wax, it was a shaved, and then getting a spray tan. I'm not sure if there's a cooling off period, like 24 hours, 12 hours, three hours, 6.5 hours, I have no idea. So I shaved my body and then I literally 10 minutes later went in, had a spray tan. So I showed you that before I shaved and had the spray tan. Now you're gonna get the after of what I look like. So let's do this. So I'm gonna take my shirt off so you get to see what I look like. I'll just move the camera around so you can see properly. All right, so we have the front pose. Something like that. And then the side pose. Like that. And then the back pose. And then the other side pose. And then back to the front. And then the abdominal pose. So I didn't do the posing for the before, but you can see the difference, yeah? The difference between shaving and getting a full full body spray tan. So, and imagine getting a little bit of Photoshopping on top of that, and I look completely different. Like, you saw those photos before, those fancy little Instagram photos, which are on my Instagram as well. So I only did that little exercise. Well, I, I got the spray tan for two reasons. One, because I wanted to show everybody what I look like without the spray tan and with the spray tan. You can see the clear differences between the two physiques. And then the second reason is because I need to be able to see how my, I need to be able to see everything, you know, like when you, the I see when you get a spray tan, I'll oh, just one second. When you get a spray tan, the idea of getting a spray tan is so that you can look good there's a psychological thing behind it, right? There's something about getting a spray tan that makes you, it makes you feel healthy. Um, and I didn't really get that when girls were like, oh, it makes me feel good. I was like, how does it make you feel good? It's a fucking spray tan. And I get that now. I understand the psychology behind why people get it, but I got it because um, I wanted to see my muscular, I wanted to see my muscularity when I'm flexing in the mirror because it's very hard to see, for example, these serotonin, these muscles here, right? So these are the rib, so they're the rib muscles. They run between the rib bones. They're called the serratus muscles. Okay, this is part of the framing muscles of the abs. I can't see them without a spray tan. I can see lines, but I can't see them properly. So that's why that's why I needed to get a spray. I wanted to see what was going on whenever I flex and whatnot. I know it's really weird. And so look, that's the reason why competitors get so dark for the stage because. When you're up under those 3000 watt light bulbs on stage, if you're not tanned, you look like a ghost, All right? And there are guys that do it. Guys get up on stage and they do not get a tan and the judges cannot see their muscularity. They just can't see it. So that's why you need to get it. And, and you need to get a dark, deep. It looks ridiculous off stage. I know, I get it. I totally agree. But when you're on stage and you have the lights hitting you, it takes a lot of that intensity off the tan and um, and so the judges can see what's going on with the muscularity and that kind of stuff. So uh, that's, that's the reason behind it. 
So anyway, um, that's it. I'm going to end this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments, questions, anything, leave them below. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, brad at seekfitlife.com. Follow my journey in my preparation and getting ready for the world titles in Thailand, June 26th. And uh, my next competition being 17 days from right now as I film this. So thanks for, thank you, thank you for participating in this in little experiment. So thanks again. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.